Hello everybody, here's another episode of Highlights of the Week. I got two things for you, as always. Um, one is a new wine that we're going to be releasing next week called the Rose of Peru. And the other is a uh, little excerpt from our, our uh, sommelier here at Wilson Creek Winery, Mick Wilson. And he's going to be talking to you about uh, the new Wine 201 class that's going to be held st uh, next Wednesday. So uh, first, I'm going to talk to you about this little beauty here. This is a new dessert wine that we have limited um, quantities of that we are going to be releasing starting next Thursday. So um, if, you, if you like dessert wines, this is a real beauty. This is a uh, grape called Rosa Peru, and we source the grapes from Rancho Cucamonga, which is uh, one of the oldest vineyards in all of California. And this is literally the last uh, of this grape. Um, they actually, after this was uh, harvested, uh, they're not going to be uh, growing this grape anymore. And it's really uh, history and elegance in a bottle. And again, it's a fortified wine, it's a dessert wine. Uh, it has cool wax, cool label in a little teeny bottle. I don't know if you could tell uh, in this video. Uh, but it's really, really good. And again, we have a limited supply of this, so it's going to be out next Thursday. So talk it up, and we'll have you guys uh, be try it after work uh, one of these uh, one of these days and next week. Uh, the other thing, I'm going to hand this over to Mick in a second. And Mick's going to be talking to you about Wine 201, which is one of our new wine education classes uh, designed for new hires. And so there are some people that are going to be required to be there next Wednesday, but it is open uh, to uh, anybody who wants to further their wine education. Uh, here at Wilson Creek Winery, uh, but you do have to get okayed by a manager because it is a paid uh, training. So without further ado, here's Mick. Hello, this is Mick and I'm here to talk about next Wednesday at 5.30 our Wine 201. And we're gonna do some fun things. We're gonna talk about the Temecula macroclimate, what makes us different than other regions. We're gonna talk about and taste the difference between champagne and our sparkling wines. We're gonna also talk about why guests like the wines they like so you can connect the wine with the guest. And we're gonna brainstorm some ways that we also can connect the wine definitions and wine descriptions with the guest. We'll be tasting some wines, we'll be um, testing each other on how to open a bottle, which is kind of no brainer. Uh, the expectations are for you to fill that stuff out ahead of time on that Wine 201 test and bring that so we don't have to go over that, but we're gonna take it to the next level and it's gonna be very interactive. I want your questions, I want to go over what you guys want to learn so you're able to have fun with the guests, you're able to sell the wines, and you're able to really connect with the guests. So the whole idea is this is for you, for you to grow and for you to learn. So it's not gonna be a fire hose of stuff shoved down your throat, it's gonna be stuff that you will hopefully uh, want to know and need to know and stuff you'll hopefully remember where you're gonna go, oh, this is what makes Wilson Creek different. This is what makes Temecula different. This is why people like the wines they like. Uh, this is what makes these wines different than these wines, a cooler climate from a warmer climate, things like that. So next Wednesday, 5.30, do your work ahead of time, come prepared, because the more prepared you are, the more fun we'll have. We don't have to go over the basic stuff again. Sound good? See you Wednesday. All right, guys, well, uh, there it is all for you. Hope you have an amazing week. We're uh, in the tail end of crazy harvest. You can see uh, they're, the, all the tractors and the lush, uh, Vines behind me, um, Greg and Gus and their teams are doing an amazing job. So please give them a pat on the back when you see them. And have a wonderful week. Thank you for all you do.